Okay, let's set up a patch that makes good use of Iris 2's modulation capabilities and effects. Say I wanted to create a hybrid patch with an edgy bass sound for aggressive chords or pedal tones and a cleaner, more ethereal tone for leads and melodies. I'll load up some samples into the pools. A couple of guitar notes for the low end and a couple of oscillator waves for the melody. I'll map them across the keyboard in two areas. The two note sample key map for the low end and layered oscillator waves for the high end. I'll set initial levels in the mix window. Once the waves are looping with a little glitch, I'll adjust the loop points and add longer crossfades. I'll detune the two layered waves for a little natural chorusing. Since I have two different sounds in this patch, I'll remove the global envelope on the master output level and put separate envelopes on the low and high note sounds. I'll set a typical percussive envelope for the low notes with envelope 2. And I'll soften the attacks and extend the release of just the melody notes with envelope 1. And I'll add a little very light LFO modulation to the melody sound just for some subtle animation. I'll enable a low-pass filter with its own envelope, envelope 4. I'll add a second modulator, velocity, for a more expressive playing response. Now I'd like the filtering to be mostly on the higher notes, so I'll add a third modulator, keyboard tracking, and set it so the filter cutoff is always higher on the low end of the keyboard, preserving the full tonal range, and lower for the high notes. This way the melody sound is mellowed out, but the left hand, bass notes, are still crisp and bright. Now I'll add some effects. I'll switch the effects section to send mode, so I can apply different effects to the different sounds in the patch. For the low end, the guitar or bass sound, I'll add distortion. Some nice grind for big chords or pedal tones. I'll compensate for the extra level. and I'll add a very small amount of reverb. For the melody sound, I'll add a lot more reverb. and a little delay echo effect. And now I have a split patch with a nice crunchy bass chord sound in the left hand and a smooth ethereal melody sound in the right hand.
Now remember, this patch was created with just the traditional subtractive synthesis tools in Iris 2. But the really cool stuff is yet to come. So next up, I'll start going through Iris 2's spectral filtering.